Hi everybody, it's Steve at Kilroy.com. Welcome back to our Facebook page and welcome back to our segment on Bug of the Month. Now last month we went with something pretty familiar to everybody and that was ladybugs. We're going to kind of keep to that theme this time around as well and we're going to talk about daddy long leg spiders. I think we all know what those are. As kids we would pick them up and try to take them outside if they're in our house and their legs would break off and we would panic if we hurt them. Or the little boys in the world would put their finger on their leg as they tried to walk away and their legs would break off. So everybody has a picture. We all know daddy long legs. One cool thing about them, they're, they're one of the oldest spiders in the world. In fact, the oldest fossil ever found was found in Scotland, and it was over 400 million years old. That's older than the dinosaurs. It's also one of the reasons why you can find daddy long leg spiders throughout the entire world. Um, back 400 million years ago, we were very, pretty much one large landmass, and as the continents broke away, daddy long legs wound up going everywhere, except for the poles. Otherwise else in the world, you can find a daddy long leg spider. Uh, now one of the other cool things about daddy long leg spiders is scientists are not really sure if they're predators or scavengers. See, a daddy long leg cannot spin a web like most spiders. So they're not sure, and they don't travel much either. So they're not sure if they just lie and wait for something to come by or they just eat organic debris. So here I have a question for all of you. If a daddy long leg cannot spin a web, is it truly a spider? I think you might be surprised by the answer. And another rumor that's gone throughout the world I've known since I was a child to an adult is that daddy long legs are one of the most poisonous spiders in the world. It's just that their fangs, their, their mandibles, jaws can't penetrate our skin. They can't bite us. So we've seen, them, we've seen them as harmless. Is that true? Are they one of the most poisonous spiders in the world? Stay tuned. Crystal's going to answer those questions for you and add a couple of videos. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it all. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time on Bug of the Month. Bye-bye.